Good day, YouTube. I'm Z James. This is Z32 Workshop, and uh, we're working on my 1993 Nissan 300ZX convertible parts car. It's just me and the crickets this morning working on the stuff. Today's gonna be another short video. I'm doing a whole series of these little snippets, hopefully five to ten minutes tops. Uh, this one I'm going to show you something that's unique to the convertibles only, so hopefully people find it interesting or at least informative. Uh, like I said, this should be a nice short video, nothing too explanatory of what's going on. Last one I, episode we took apart the door stuff. Uh, this episode we are going to take apart the, uh, I'm not going to take apart, well I will. I'm going to show you where the roof drains are at on the convertible, which I am thinking they're completely separate for the convertibles compared to the T-top uh, cars and most definitely against the select tops. So let me show you a minute. I've shown you before, but I'm gonna show you where they drain at. Let's go around, Let's flip you over here. This is the roof drain. So if you got your top here, it's down. It's right here um, underneath. Well, I'm gonna show you on my car where that point actually is. That is underneath this. There's a rubber gasket in here. I'm not sure how water gets down there. I'm assuming through this channel. It gets down through there. Now back over to the parts car, you can see that this can get plugged up. And it runs straight down through the body down into here. Nothing fancy on it, it just drains right down. So I don't sure exactly how that enters out. Now that being said, Hopefully I'm not moving around too much for you guys. We're going to pop this off. Oh, shit. See, this is already... It's just even me. See that? It's already ripped. And I don't know if that was ripped prior to me doing that or not. I'm hoping not. Yeah, see, that's... That's the rough drain. Um, mine decided to rip, but this rubber here gets old and this whole tube can get plugged up. So that's one. Let's go over to the passenger side here. That's the same location. It's right here. And drains down. This has got tape, it looks like, to hold it in the spot, which that is factory tape. Comes down, drains down, goes down into there. So what I'm gonna try to do is save this one a little bit better. Okay, I'm just using my fingers here and pulling up to bust the seal. Okay. Oh nope, that's the one's broke too. See, I think that is already ripped, see. I think that was already kiboshed. But that's the, where the roof drain is for this car, for the top. Now, the reason I'm doing a small video short on it is because, well, frankly, that's very highly specific to where that's at. And more importantly, how you'd want to clean those is I would actually use, since it's so flexible and bendy, wow, look how much difference there is in length. Wow, that is... Driver's side, passenger side. That is weird. I wonder why that is. I mean, there isn't anything extra. You know what I mean? I mean, they're pretty mirror image on this car. There's nothing to go around. I wonder why they did that. So, all right. That's gonna do it for today's video. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this short sweet. Five minutes. Um, so, that's how to do the rough drains, how to remove them. I would be careful with them. I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hang on to them. I don't think you can get those. I think those are. I, I'm fairly sure there's probably another car that makes something similar or uses it. Uh, I'm not sure. I never haven't done the research on it, uh, but it's got to be something like that. So um, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Uh, and like I said, another short, sweet, under five minutes. Uh, once again, my name is Z James. This is Z32 Workshop, and I hope you guys are finding this information informative, helpful, and useful in your projects and in your endeavors in the garage. And I hope to see you tomorrow or in the comments. Take care. Bye.